Keepers are a necessary evil, right? Okay. Uh, but when you need them, what people are going to be talking about out there, it's not Neymar, it's Graymar. <laughs> Position. So I think it gives them a little a lot upside uh, going forward. And then defensively, I think they're sound enough to, to allow them that freedom. Yeah, happy play. <laughs> Brazil with a seven-match unbeaten run in Copa play. Their last Copa loss came against Peru in 2016. Those position, let's see how they contain him. And then Lapadula up top. Central wall and Gabi goal leading the line for Brazil. Brazil. This is the stage of the Estadio Olimpico. Nilton Santos. Argentina is underway. It is Brazil on the fake one winners for their ninth Copa America title. And whereas Brazil was in action over the weekend, Peru were idle. You got a former Orlando player and Yoshimar Yotun who's out there as well. Neymar once again dropping to pick it up. Brazil enjoyed 62%. That free-flowing nature that Brazil have in possession and the quick one-two touches around. Lopez and for Yotun. in now good cover there I mean, the towel came across and then he's tripped up base <laughs> but they could lull you to sleep sometimes and that's <laughs> now for fred and he'll let fly from distance and let's say happy to see that rise up and out for brazil his cross into the middle was looking for neymar it's flipped along it's gabriel jesus cutting it back and it's stabbed home and brazil do have that opener there's your 10 miles per hour to 110 it's alexandro the left back on the end of the cross, Chichi celebrates. They're now plus 101. And you're going to see here for Brazil, this starts in their own end, a little flick around the corner. Alexandro initiates that pass from Neymar, the little flick, and then look at them bursting numbers into the box. They have four waiting for this one, and great recognition in that moment. Gabriel Jesus could have taken work as well. He's tracking back. He's being a part of the buildup. It really speaks to the... He's a far fan. Vincula, the outside back, top 10 in appearance. And he'll be able to get that away. And now Neymar on the other end, Gabriel Barbosa, Gabi goal in front of him, trying to play for him at that time. And that got Juan Carlos to the World Cup in Italy. Fred trying to dig it out. You're returning now to cross into the mid. Fabinho. Neymar takes a hard hit. That'll draw a yellow card, so Patricio Lewis now, our referee, just trying to draw a line. Swinging ball. All the way through. Two players down for Peru as Fabinho fires back in. And Galese. And that post covered as it flashes wide. Flout. Dunga, the former World Cup winning captain, their manager was fired. Chichi took the job and it was deep looping. So the ball got knocked though for Peru. Right up into the far side for Corzo. Alexandro coming to defend. Cross. From a long way out. Good pressure there from Danilo. Take it away from Korea. Now they're trying to. Tackle back out wide. Now the cross coming in. Move one side around Ramos. Could do so. But it's back for Neymar now. And he's trying to dance his way around. Four white red shirts around him. That game in October, not moving him past Ronaldo for second. Cross clipped it around right now as Ramos goes long. Brought down very well by Carrillo. Second, Peru have some numbers here if they want to make something out of it. Rolled into the middle and a chance from an angle. Clipped along, blocked down off the chest of Danilo. Here come Peru again, looking to slip it through for long. Slip it down a little bit there. Flip back across and will set the table for Lionel Messi back in the field tomorrow. Just rolled into the middle there. Set Marcos Lopez of the San Jose Earthquakes. Neymar, chance for a second there for Alexandro. Once again found himself upfield and he blasts it over.
Played a good option wide to play the pass. Well, Rob Moe and Alexi on the other side of the break will break down what we've seen so far. Can they be more dynamic? Can they cause more problems in that final third? And get Brazil were lacking in the final third and having some verticality. Richarlison certainly helps them with that. As the second half is underway, halfway to a ninth straight win in, all in the Southern Hemisphere. A free kick for Peru. We see himself set. It's your tune to swing it in. Control of this group. Here's Richarlison just on the field as a halftime. Can Rivera, the other halftime substitute, back for Richarlison. Chopped it. He's in swinging ball now. Here at the Copa America, Gabriel Jesus heading off inside. It's Danilo. Can we get another goal for a fullback? That one ends up wide. That's where a lot of the dangerous come though tonight for Brazil. Yeah, getting fullbacks into the attack, something. Thank you. Oh, it's how there. Just shepherding that out. It's it away. It's Corzo, the right back. Corzo getting across it. It's Neymar dropping in. Fred has heels clicked, able to keep it into the middle. Fred to the far side. Gabriel Jesus with options. He'll clip the cross in. Richardson lost his footing there. He was going to go attack it. He takes a hard bump shoulder to shoulder. He's Danilo running forward. And weaving his way through. Back from Gabriel Jesus. Again, riding challenges. And that one's going to be a foul. Neymar. I drive that in. Mistake, though. Back in from Fabin. Neymar running away. Neymar into the box. Forced out. Tripped up on the edge of the area. Penalty for Brazil. Well, that's how you can grab a second. Their second goal against Venezuela was a Neymar penalty. Their second against Peru might be the same. When the last time these two teams played, well. just a referee agreeing with Stu and Doc that that was not a penalty foul committed by Renato Tapia on Neymar. <laughs> against Brazil, Fred up for Neymar. Neymar on the turn. Neymar lets it fly. It's Brazil's second goal anyway, and they have some breathing room on Peru. Five straight games now for Neymar, and it's one of those things for Peru. First moment in the second half, you get numbers into the attack, you get caught out in transit. Looks like he's preparing to come on for Brazil. Ribeiro back from Garo. Neymar once more. Neymar handing off. Richardson now. Ribeiro stabs it home. There's the third for Brazil. Everton Ribeiro, 32 years of age. First career goal for Brazil. So much better in the second half. The understanding, the movement off the ball, creating space wide. It's Neymar centrally. Great little cut in. Chance for another for Minner tonight again. Richardson saved off the line, but a second attempt from the seat of his pants gives Brazil their fourth. It's Richardson finishing it off. And it's Brazil continuing to make it look like this is going to be their Copa America unless someone somewhere can come and take it from them. Well, now it's the Samba party, and Neymar involved once again, dropping into a deeper position, and an...